what's up YouTube fam. So today I'm going to talk about the number one thing that I have learned in 2022 that will help me for the rest of my life. So this will help you if you are in business, if you are in real estate, if you are in anything with personal development, if you're just trying to grow as a person, it will help you. So here it goes. The number one thing, and I'm gonna share this with you at the end, but I used to, all my life, I knew that there's greatness inside of me, but what I have done, and maybe you can relate, I have dimmed my light and my potential for other people that were around me so that they would feel comfortable being around me because I love them. But I no longer do that anymore. And the reason I don't do that anymore is because I know who I am now and because I learned this one thing. And so I used to always, all my life, I knew this thing, but I knew it in a measure. I knew it to a degree. And now I just know it to the fullest of its power. And it, and it was basically that I believed in myself all of my life. That's what it is. I believed in myself all my entire life. But I believed in myself to like the first or second degree, not to like the ninth or the tenth. And finally, I have learned to believe in myself 100% of the time, not only in one area of my life, not only in, you know, being a wife or being a nine to fiver, which I was before, or being, you know, when I started in, in business to a degree, um, all these things. I have learned now that I'm fully capable of doing anything that is placed as an idea in my mind if I believe in myself 100%. So I only tell you this because People will constantly tell me things to try to make me not believe in myself. And they try to do this because some people love me and some people envy me. So maybe you can relate to me. So some people will tell me things like this and this just, it just angers me. Some people will tell me high level people, even people that I admire have said the same thing. They have said, the number one lie, you cannot outgrow your environment. Have you ever heard this before? I have heard very high level people say this. That is a lie. Why? I need, I'll show you a demonstration. People believe that because what is surrounding them, right? What's in their sphere of influence so is pulling on them, pulling you back so that you don't move forward. They believe that you are, do not have the willpower and the strength inside of you to overcome that. Now, granted, it is very difficult to do that. It is easier to move out of your environment and grow faster than it is to stay in it and continue growing. I understand that, I'm fully aware. But what these people forget is that within us, we have our own environment. Every person that you meet has an environment. They have one emotion that they know very well. They have something that drives them. And I have that too. So why would I think that the environment that I have cultivated and I have created inside of me does not have the power or the potential to outgrow every other thing, every other person, every other limiting belief, every, everything? Why would I believe 
that I don't have the power within me to overcome what is outside of me. I refuse to believe that. So, if you were ever told that you do not have the capacity to outgrow your environment, where you came from, um, where you grew up, I am here to tell you that is a lie and do not believe it. So I don't believe it. So everyone and their mother can tell me that this and you, you know, I don't care. I refuse. So <clears throat> another thing, so the main thing I've learned is to believe in myself 100%. I'm going to tell you how that helps you in life. This helps you because when when you're growing, when you're growing, you will for sure have people, social media, or you know, what whatever you want to call it. Things will come that will try to, you know, you're walking, you're going, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna whatever. And then someone comes up and they tell you, you're not gonna do that. Okay. Now, before maybe that would have mattered. But when you really believe in yourself to 100% of the time, you really stop caring about what anyone else thinks about you because you know what you think about you. And if you know who you are, you really don't care what anyone else has to say. That's kind of how I live my life now. So you keep going and you're walking. And you say, this person told me that I'm not capable of doing this. Huh? I guess we just, I guess we just gonna have to wait and see. Because depending on your goals, if your goals are scary, audacious, fearless goals, like the ones that I have, then people will ultimately tell you this, like it's going to happen. You need to be careful who you share your goals with, okay? But that's something that I have learned. And when they tell you, it, it really like no longer affects you. Like you're so used to, I don't know if you've ever seen that picture where it's like a small lion and it has like one or two arrow arrows like launched on it and it's like dead. And then there's another one that's bigger and has a bunch of arrows just everywhere and it's still walking. That is life, my friends. If you're trying to grow, <coughs> whether you're trying to grow your business, whether you're trying to grow yourself, whether you're trying to grow in real estate investing, whatever it is, it's growth. If you're trying to grow, ultimately you will get arrows thrown at you. Because if you are a fruit, if you're a tree with a lot of fruit, I don't know about you, but in my culture, if we see some mangoes on a tree, you know, we sometimes, depending on the person, tries to go on that tree and get some of those mangoes, okay? So don't, 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 like, people see when you have something that they can grab onto. And you know what? I respect those people more, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're trying to grow and you start outgrowing people, things, places that used to know you, used to think or still believe that they know who you are, ultimately envy is going to come to their lives. Why? Envy is not a bad thing if you know what envy means. Envy just means that I have something that you want. That's all envy is. That just means that you see something in me that you want. But you know what? If you look at envy with the right eyes, you will realize that you can have it too. You are not exempt from having it. And so if you see someone that you envy, then you should think, what is it in their life that I want? 
Because sometimes it is not a car. Sometimes it's not a house. Sometimes it's not money. Sometimes it's not the fact that they're retired. Sometimes it's not any of those outside exterior materialistic things. Sometimes you see something in someone that they have inside of them, inside of them. And you say, I want what is inside of that person, but you don't know what that is. So instead of envying people that really, you just believe that you are like, you should do yourself a favor and grab on to what they have. Like, like you're taking a mango from the tree. So number one thing that I have learned this year is even though I thought I believed in myself my entire life, I have learned that I did not believe in myself to my full measure of what I'm really capable of. And so once I started believing in myself to my full measure, which maybe I don't even know what that whole thing is, but what I think it is, I do believe I'm capable of doing absolutely everything that God has placed in my heart. So if you think this of yourself or if you realize that maybe you haven't gotten there, I hope you do and I hope you get there fast. I hope you join me in growing. Bye guys.